We present a new way to make double curved surfaces out of flat materials like sheet, metal, plastic or leather. Developable surfaces are single curved surfaces that can be approximated by thin, flat materials that can bend freely but not stretch. This significantly limits the space of feasible shapes. Even a simple shape like a sphere cannot be approximated by a flat piece of inextensible but flexible material. But by inserting a specific pattern of cuts in the same material, we get much more freedom. In fact, the material can now stretch and approximate double curved surfaces. The specific pattern of cuts makes inextensible material become auxetic. Auxetics are materials with a negative Poisson ratio. In practice, this means that when the material is stretched along one axis, it becomes wider perpendicular to the applied force. This interesting class of materials have been investigated before. They have interesting applications in different domains. But so far, all the applications have been restricted to very simple geometries. Now our goal is to have an algorithm which will enable you to approximate complex target surfaces with auxetic materials and do designs which were not possible before. So let's see how these materials behave. If we simply try to wrap a flat piece of auxetic material around a complex target surface, in most cases our attempt will fail. This is due to a strong global coupling within the triangular linkage, which makes incremental manual layout very difficult. It's not intuitive what piece of a flat material you need for a certain surface and how and where you should stretch the material to obtain a good approximation of a target surface. So we look for some theory to help us understand the behavior of the linkage. In this paper, we focus on a triangular pattern that has a nice geometric abstraction in the form of a kinematic linkage composed of equilateral triangles. And one thing we notice by looking into material deformation more closely is that the material scales approximately isotropically. This observation provides a direct link to conformal geometry. More specifically, we can exploit the theory and algorithms of conformal maps to find a globally consistent initialization for our nonlinear surface approximation algorithm. And our algorithm is the following. First we take a target surface and we find a conformal parameterization for it. Then we overlay a mesh of equilateral triangles on top of that 2D domain and we get a flat layout for our auxetic material. We use the conformal mapping to take the auxetic linkage from 2D domain back to a 3D surface and initialize the nonlinear optimization solver. After some additional optimization steps, we get the final result. As our auxetic linkage can stretch only up to two times in length, we need to have a conformal parameterization with bounded scaling factor between 1 and 2. To reduce the scaling factor in the parameterization, we add cone singularities until the scaling factor is within the bounds. And to obtain a seamless connection in the linkage along the cuts, we prescribed cone angles in the parameterization. We minimize this subjective function with respect to the vertex positions. This optimization tries to push the linkage as close as possible to the target surface while keeping the equilateral triangles rigid and avoiding collisions between the neighboring triangles. And by adjusting the weights we can control the final design. To test our approach we fabricated a few prototypes. We created a sculpture of Max Planck from a flat piece of perforated copper. We 3D printed the reference model for geometric guidance and followed the guidelines from our computational tool to get the final result. Another prototype we did was a high heel shoe from an aluminium sheet with cuts. We used a 3D printed base and thanks to our global approach we were able to find a non-trivial 2D domain and to obtain a completely seamless result.
We also created this fashionable top from one inextensible piece of leather. And again, thanks to our optimization approach, we were also able to obtain the global continuity of the pattern across the seams. These materials have an exciting property of being reconfigurable. So from an exactly the same piece of material, we can approximate different shapes. Thank you for your attention.